In this video, I'm going to be showing you all the products that I used up in the month of November. So if you want to see what products I have used up, my thoughts on them, and if I will be repurchasing them, then just keep on watching. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I'm the makeup enthusiast. If you're new around here, make sure you click the subscribe button down below. On this channel, I do a lot of Australian made and Australian owned beauty reviews. I do a lot of project panning. So if any of that interests you, then make sure you click the subscribe button down below before we get into the video. In the month of November, I used up a fair amount of products. A lot of these actually, I think are project pan products, which kudos to me. So the first one is the Mary Kay Time Wise Body Targeted Action Toning Lotion. This doesn't really do anything to help tone your body or your muscles or anything like that, tone your skin, anything like that. I really like the smell of it and it is really nice and moisturizing. So based on those two, like not the fact that it is supposed to tone my body, based on the fact that it's really nice and moisturizing and it smells really good, I probably would pick this up. I'm not quite sure. I can't quite remember how much this was though because I did purchase it quite a while ago. If it's really expensive, I probably wouldn't pick it up because I did go through it pretty quickly. Then we have the Shu Uruma Art of Hair Maroto Volume Pure Lightness Conditioner for Fine Hair. I got this in one of my Maslow & Co boxes, which no longer exists, but I got this maybe like a year ago. This bottle lasted me quite a while, probably on the like six to eight month mark. I wash my hair like twice, two to three times a week. It was a really nice conditioner. I don't think I would repurchase this though, because I think from memory, Shu Uruma hair products are quite expensive. And this is only a 250ml bottle. And the conditioner I'm using at the moment is on the cheaper side and I'm quite enjoying it. So I think I'd pass on that one, but it was a nice treat to have at the time. The next is the Mary Kay Paint the Sky Body Lotion. I don't even think you can get this anymore, but I did like it. It was nice. Mary Kay usually come out with like different kind of scent packs at Christmas time and they include like body lotions. So I got this last year with like a body mist and a body wash. It's a nice scent but I can't get it anymore. The Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% Plus B5. This was all right. I don't think it did any miracles for my skin, so I don't think I would pick it up again. Then we have the Lululun. This was a massive pack of sheet masks. I got this when we were in Japan, not last Christmas, but the Christmas before. So this pack was quite old. There was 32 sheet masks in here. I think the whole like idea of these was you basically use them every day, which is what a lot of Japanese skincare routines are, is they use a sheet mask like every single day. These were really nice. I don't think I would get them again. I just feel like these are quite wasteful. I do think though, this is probably a better way to have a sheet mask than individually packaged sheet masks. So this is like a resealable little kind of container pack. So in terms of comparing this to sheet masks, it is a lot less wasteful, but you are still using a sheet every single day. I think coming into 2019, I'm going to try and focus more on finding skincare products that are less wasteful and also trying to kind of use up my sheet masks and not really purchase again if I can avoid it. Then we have the Mary Kay TimeWise Two-Step Microdermabrasion System. They don't actually sell this system anymore, so even if I wanted to pick it up, I wouldn't be able to. I do really like the one, like step one, which is the microdermabrasion scrub side of it. I haven't had a chance to really use the scrub that they have replaced that set with, so I can't really comment on how they compare. We might jump into sheet masks. I have used up a ton of sheet masks this month, starting with the Innisfree Genju Volcanic Nose Pack. This was quite nice. I typically don't really have a problem with blackheads or clogged pores on my nose. Generally, any kind of clogged pores on my nose I can get rid of or clean up with a nice like scrub on my nose so these don't really do much for me my husband has more luck with them and that one though I did find that it didn't kind of leave that sticky residue on your nose which some of the pore care nose strips can do sheet masks first we have the lap Lapcos Skin First Oil Wrap Mask. I really like this one. I did a clay mask and then I washed it off in the shower and I followed up with this. After using this, my skin felt amazing. So I really liked that one. This is the sexy look. I don't know what it's actually called because it's got Japanese written all over it. I wasn't a big fan of this one. It was like one of those 
gel mask um, and I didn't really like it. I didn't really feel like it did much for my skin so unfortunately that one wasn't a win. The Palantum Water Gel Extra Force Mask Brightening. This was okay. Same with the MD's Pick I Don't Know Yesterday Brightening Mask. DNA Couple Mask Rose Fiber Sheet. No HJ Revitalizing Botanical Cotton Sheet Mask. FG Beauty Stewardess Mask Business Class. I really liked this one. This one was a good one as well. Really nice and hydrating and moisturizing. Double and Zero Espresso Revital Ample Mask. The Bocrods Rose Mask Pack. Most of these were just like a bit meh. The Wang Skin White Flower Mask Pack. Green Vita Perfect Skin Adhesion White Glow. White Gold Glow Mask. Berrysome Water Bomb Jelly Mask. This one was probably better than most of the meh ones. And same with this one, this Skin Skinny On Martini Pack was a nice one as well. And then we have the It Works Ultimate Body Applicator. I think the few that I've had left were quite old so they weren't as effective but I think these you kind of have to do all four at once to see any kind of results. And then we have the Neogen Bio Peel Plus gauze peeling. I really liked this one and I actually managed to get almost probably a week if not more out of this one pack. So I took the pad out, used it on my skin after cleansing and all that and then put it back in and folded this over to keep the moisture in there. So I managed to get quite a lot of uses out of this one pack. The Mary Kay Timewise Age Fighting Moisturizer. This is the normal to dry one. These moisturizers are really nice. So I tend to gravitate back to these when I'm out of moisturizers. There is a pile of mask residue at the bottom of my basket. It's so gross. Two Ethic products. I have the Ginger Snap Face Scrub Sample and the Mochaccino Body Polish. I didn't really like either of these. I didn't feel like they were scrubby enough for me. They weren't chunky enough scrub wise. Then I have the Johnson's Pure Cotton Makeup Browns. I still have a couple more packets of these. I usually grab these when I'm at Costco or when mum's at Costco. You get like six of these bags in one big packet so it's a lot cheaper to purchase it that way. Covergirl Ready Set Gorgeous. This is in the colour 105 Classic Ivory. This is one of my favourite foundations. I already have a backup in my drawer and when I finish that I will probably purchase another one because I do really like the way this looks on my skin. I think CoverGirl, if you can find a shade that matches you, their shade range is appalling but if you can find a shade that matches you, I think they make fantastic foundations but as I just said, they have a shocking shade range and I think they can do a lot better because their foundations are amazing and I don't think it's fair that people are missing out on such amazing foundations at more affordable prices. The doTERRA On Guard Essential Oil Blend. I really like this blend. This is like kind of a air purifying sickness blend I guess you could say. I really like the smell of this. It's not for everyone this blend but I do like to put this on on the weekends to make my house smell nice and fresh and clean. Rose Hip Plus Rose Hip Oil Organic Cold Press. I really like rosehip oil. I think out of a lot of oils, rosehip is one that my skin agrees with really, really well. So I will need to pick up another bottle of rosehip at some point. I don't know whether it's the best brand, but this is, I think is my second bottle of it. So no complaints. I did seem to go through this quite quickly, this bottle in particular, for some reason. The Sephora Express Cleansing and Purifying Wipes with Salicylic Acid. These were okay. I probably wouldn't repurchase them again. I picked these up just to kind of get me over the post postage limit Other, otherwise I would have had to pay more in postage than I was to the postage limit. Does that make sense? You guys know what I mean. You're happy to buy something else rather than pay $20 in postage. So I picked these up. They were okay. I just used these to remove like swatches and stuff on my hands. For that they were good but I wouldn't use them on my face. Along with the Neutrogena Deep Clean Purifying Wipes. Once again I wouldn't use these on my face. I did not like them on my face but they were good to remove swatches. The Body Shop Peppermint Cooling Foot Lotion. This is one thing that I'm really into at the moment, using peppermint on my feet. If it is a stinking hot night and I put peppermint oil on my feet and like sit them in front of the fan, it seems to make my whole body cool down. So I am loving the feel of peppermint on my feet or even my legs at the moment, particularly if I've been to the gym that night and my legs are starting to kind of 
cramp up a little bit after like a workout I think peppermint oh, it feels so good on your skin and especially your feet and your legs after a long day standing and whatnot. Mecca Cosmetica to save face SPF 50 plus sunscreen. This is their like sample meal bottle. This is a 30 gram bottle. I usually pick these up if I'm like going away. It's handy to just have a little tube of sunscreen in your makeup bag rather than a big tube. So I really like these to take away on holidays. This was the Bodyography lip liner. These were nice lip liners, not the best. I probably wouldn't pick these up again. And then one product that I was sad to use up this month was the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. This is all gone. I used this up in my 9 by New Year's project pen. I really like this to set my foundation. It is a powder foundation. I don't use it as a powder foundation. I use it to set my liquid foundation and it is amazing for that. So I highly recommend this product as a setting powder not as a powder foundation it is fantastic it makes your makeup last so long when you use it but that's all my product empties i don't want to show you <laughs> the bottom of the basket because it looks gross let me know what products you used up this month and what ones you will be repurchasing are there any products that i used up this month that you are going to try or if you have tried how did you go with them don't forget to click the subscribe button down below so you can keep up to date on all my aussie made and aussie owned beauty reviews also give this video a big thumbs up if you like product empties that's it for this video i hope you have a fantastic day and i will see you in the next video. Goodbye everyone.